With the snow disappearing, the sunshine shining, and spring's here, it's time to make sure our hot tents get put away for the winter. Not for the winter, for the spring, summer, and fall, so that they're good to go next season. This is the Walmart wall tent. The last time I took it out on a trip, it got really wet. Condensation was on the inside, it snowed, it rained on us. I ended up leaving it in the shed for the last couple weeks. I took it out two days ago, set it up. I thought the easiest way to do it for myself was to put it over our jungle gym and just let it hang and dry out for us. Here's the floor here. I just laid this out in the grass, let it dry out, flipped it over, got the other side dry, and now it's time to put it back in the box and store it for the season, well, store it for next season. Hot tents aren't cheap. This one, when it's not on sale, is $500. So you wanna protect your investment Leaving them wet to sit for a whole season will just get mildewy, moldy, and make your tent pretty much useless, unusable. It could degrade the material that it's made out of and it just stinks. After a trip, I usually like to set up a tent and let it dry out and put it away immediately. But this tent is really hard to set up. I guess it's not hard to set up, but it takes a lot of room to set up. And in the winter time, you can't just put this inside your house and let it dry. That's why I waited a couple weeks for nice weather and now I'm letting it dry now. If your tent's not this big, let's say you have a small teepee tent, this is my favorite way to do a small teepee tent. So my favorite method in the winter time to dry out tents is to just hang them from your shower curtain. I like to use a big clamp, one of these squeezy guys. I just bring the tent up to, to the curtain rod and then hang it down. Make sure it's draped into the tub so that any water that leaks out of it and dries from it is in your tub and not on your floor. You can also add a fan to your bathroom or a space heater and dry it out even faster. Well, let's get that wall tent put away. Now you don't need a jungle gym or a place set to set up your tent. You can use the included poles or run a rope between two trees and drape it over it. I just had that and it made it really easy. You can even just lay it on the ground just like this. Flip it over so that it dries out both sides. But once it's completely dry, you wanna fold it up. With big tarps or tents, I fold them in half, fold them in half again. Now I'm just gonna roll it together. And also like to add, I don't store the poles in the bag with the tent. It makes it way too heavy. And honestly, I can't, I can never get it folded small enough to fit anything besides the tent in that bag. And that bag's huge. I'll do the same thing to the floor. If your tent has a floor. And now your investment's ready to get put away and will be safe and sound for you next season. Thanks for joining me on this tent adventure. See you in the next one. Let me know if you guys have any tips or tricks to drying out your tents. Thanks.